Hello guys, hope all of you are okay. Today here is another video for you. In this video, we would know how to get into BIOS for Lenovo IdeaPad 510. Okay, so in this case, I want to reinstall Windows into this machine because I upgraded the HDD to SSD. So just to install fresh windows into it i need to change the boot option okay so we need to get into bios to change the boot option okay by the way as i said in another video in lenovo idea but most of them uh got different procedure to get into bios so i'm going to show you within second how to change it okay you know in normal way for every single machine from F1 to F12, it depends on the machine and brand, okay? We press from F1 to F12, one of them, specifically to get into BIOS. But for Lenovo IdeaPad, almost this series is totally different, okay? So let me show you. As you can see here, there are a lot of uh, connectors here. This is BGA, RJ45, HDMI, then obviously USB 3, then headphone jack. Then next to the headphone jack hole, you can see there is a little button with upside down U shape, okay? So this hole is called knob button. You can say this is called BIOS button, okay? So if you use a paper clip and push it into the button while the computer is off, it will take us straight to the BIOS option, okay? So today I got one C major two tools. As you can see, the machine is completely off. So I'm going to push the button and see what happened. Okay, you can feel the little click. Yeah, here we go. It's very straightforward. Straight to the BIOS option. Now you can select whatever you want. So I need to go to BIOS. Okay, so I'm going to go there. Um, bio setup hit enter once you hit enter then it will come to the main screen from here I'm gonna change the boot option so what I need to do I need to go to configure <clears throat> from configure so now we go, uh, go to the security we need to turn off the secure boot option due to change from UEFI to legacy mode okay so I'm gonna make it disable and let's go to boot from here boot mode as you can see EVFI we're gonna change it to the legacy support and now boot priority of course legacy first otherwise we can reinstall it USB boot if you see it's disabled you must need to make it enable if you want to reinstall your operating system from a bootable USB drive okay so I must need to leave it enable otherwise I can't the system can't recognize the USB so let's connect it in here okay and then go to the legacy option this has already been disabled anyway so let's save the changes and see what happened so that's it press and hold F1 plus F10 to save and exit, right? So I'm gonna press and hold F and button, and of course the F10, and now I'm gonna say yes, let's see what happened. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so now the system is off. It's turning on, restarting. Okay, fine, see, it's very straightforward. Okay, so some of the machine, it doesn't start up straight away from there. You don't need to worry about it. So when it restart, turn it off again. Do the same thing what I did to get into BIOS. But this time select boot option. Go to USB. If you enter, then you will see the screen. I hope this video would help you to solve this issue. And if, if it does help, please uh, uh, click the like button. And if you do subscribe, even it would be better for me. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.